Woo! <laughs> hey, Cole here, Robert Fanban. Hopefully you've seen a couple of my dumbass videos on YouTube. We're going to cut to the chase, because today has been amazing. First off, it's a goddamn monsoon out here. It's kind of raining and shit all the time. But that is, I digress. Let me start off how we really started the day. It's amazing. I just got a fucking new CD player put in my car that actually works. I've been driving my Jeep around for two years with no radio. I know you guys thought I was rich. I'm not. I'm bumping Mud Vein Limited. Boom, boom. You fucking... All you metalheads know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, digress again. Make it to work perfectly. That was great. Made a bunch of money. Lunch was amazing. It was really busy. Had a lot of guys. Made people drinking a little early, and that's always fun because you get better tips when people drink. It was all great. And then all fucking hell broke loose. And then night shift starts. Started off real smooth, going on. It's supposed to be date night for me and my wife. I'm supposed to leave. Heather can vouch for me. Heather. Oh. And Chris was there. He's a subscriber now. You guys should join him. But he's also a you know, guy I know from the bar. Hey, Chris, you saw some of this. Listen to this shit. So the night starts off smoothly. Heather comes down. I've made a ton of money. That's what I do. And then a couple of individuals show up. We're not going to name both of their names. But we're going to talk about this broad... I know women hate it when they get called that. She shows up, obviously. I, she seemed okay. That's fine. Have a couple of beverages. Three hours later. Old girl, be light. Hey, who wants to fight me? Who wants to fight me? At this point, date night's not an option. And then... A couple other characters come on into play. <laughs> Let's mix this with other drunk people, shall we? So, I don't want to split again, because this time... So there's other individuals, they're drinking, they're around this woman. I'm trying to keep my shit together, because date night's over. I'm already fucking pissed off. She obviously has been drinking at some other place. Managers get involved. Ah, oh, God. Everybody's just like, Jesus, this chick's hammered. And, and Chris, you saw this shit happen, and you said that you wanted to be in a video. Well, you're not in the video, but your name is being in. He's a subscriber, my boy. Hey, you saw this shit happen. A whole bitch falls the fuck down. Splash! Woo! All right. Let's just go to a fucking family restaurant and get hammered. She only had two drinks, folks. She obviously been drinking somewhere else to protect my rights. That happened. Swear to God it did. Anyway, I digress again. Other folks are getting drunk. Now people are making out in the bar. Making out. A 68-year-old... Bald, buggy-eyed, doers-drinking motherfucker has got his tongue shoved down. This <laughs> washed-up, goddamn, fucking reamed-out old-ass chick. They're just making out at my goddamn bar. I just want to go home and hang out with my wife, but no! And I know I keep pausing, and I'm sorry. You got this... If if there's any fans, any of my subscribers actually still watch my videos, and they just not, they don't even have that phone anymore. I don't know. I don't care. Stick with me on this one because I had to fucking endure it. You have to endure it too. So then, old bitch has been making out with with dude. That was amazing. So then she's figured out that she's had too much to drink. She wants to pay her tab. That would have been great a couple of hours ago, ma'am. So now I can't let her leave, because as a responsible bartender, you will get your fucking ass thrown in jail if I let this drunk old washed up whore leave in her goddamn Hyundai Elantra. Because <laughs> I stole her key, I had to take her fucking keys, y'all. Because that's what you do when you're a responsible bartender. Look, look, see what I do? This is what you do. Come home and get drunk and fucked up and make videos. You got more time on your hands rather than going out and getting fucked up. Anyway, I digress again. 
That's a different, you watch the bartender's rant. That's what that's about. Anyway, I go back. She's fucked up. She done fell on the floor, making out with an old man at the bar. This is not what we do. I had, I'm had sitting there to govern this shit. The old bitch tries to run out the fucking goddamn bar. She hasn't paid her tab yet. She figured that out. I said, okay. You got to pay your tab, so we have to restrain her. Anyway, we got the drunk bitch home safely it's because I've got other things to talk to you about. Fuck the old drunk washed up horror. You've heard enough about that. Now, you want to hear some funny shit? This is how the rest of my night went. So then I get to come home. <laughs> Three and a half hours after date night. Whatever. Me and my wife. You know what? We'll fuck some other time. <laughs> Fuck trophies, Chris. Fuck trophies. Remember that. Anyway, start pulling. I'm fine. I've got a tasty beverage. Anyway, that's illegal. I'm not going to talk. I can't talk about that. Come pull in my driveway. I'm just, I just want to park. I know i got to park down there somewhere. Whatever. We're not, y'all don't know the rules. What's all up in the driveway? A bunch of fucking cops. A bunch of them, y'all. A bunch. Fuck it. Whatever. So I park. Neighbors coming over. All hell's breaking loose over here. <laughs> People upstairs. Dude. You know, stuff happens. Stuff like that. We're not going to name any names. D-Train. But. So then we get that. I come inside. I just want to drink a beer. And chill. That'd be good. It's a goddamn monsoon out here. If you haven't seen the fucking rain. See? I'm sorry to fuck this video up. Let me get the funny part. So there's fucking police everywhere. <laughs> I go inside. I'm just grabbing a beer. My neighbor's knocking on the door going, Hey, somebody getting their fucking car towed. So I go, I'm like, God damn, I just got home. I ain't even got the first beer in yet. So then I go downstairs to check to make sure they're not towing my car. And they're not. But I was parked illegally because we're not supposed to park up here because we have two cars. Last time I checked, having two cars was pretty fucking cool, right? But you get punished for it, so he's like, don't worry, these mark-ass niggas don't know shit. We got a rap game. Sorry, I digress again. So, I'm freaking out, thinking they're towing my car. But they're not, they're repoing somebody's shit. I was like, yeah! My neighbor was like, what? And I was all like, true that. Fuck them hoes. That's what happens. You don't pay your goddamn bills. Anyway, so I digress again. So then I come upstairs, and then the most amazing thing happened. I think I get to just chill with my nigga here. I just try to come chill with my nigga. But something else happened. I got them goddamn new polo boots, bro. I know it's long, y'all. Just keep up with me. But then you got another motherfucker like... Man, this rain's coming down. Down? Yeah, you know what to say, man. <laughs> Once you get down, you never come up. <laughs> man, this one time I was working construction. This guy had to lift. Man. It's a squirrel. And then... <laughs> hey, man, it's cool to hang out with you guys. It really is. There is not enough YouTube footage in the fucking world <laughs> to explain the dimension of pissed the fuck off I was that my fucking date night got ruined. <sighs> but, in lieu of that, hey, I think this will be one of my best. You fuckers can suck a dick. Because shh, now I gotta go move my Jeep in a fucking monsoon because the fucking creek's about to rise. Read stories about that shit, didn't you? Bunch of pussy bitches. Chris, Heather, y'all watch that shit happen. <laughs> that drunk asshole fell straight to fuck down. Woo! <laughs> Me and my boy see me right away, huh? Well, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere over there. There he is. Camouflaged. We got some rap game coming to you. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna get we're gonna get a song for you. One time only. And Ellen gets the first interview. And that's it. And I just said it.
I'll say it straight to your face. Ellen gets the first interview. Love you, Amory. Love you, Donnie. All them folks, and we do too. Here in H Vegas, closing it out. I know it's a long video. Please watch the whole thing. Peace.